What's up, baby? Welcome to Refrag, and my name's Drew Face. This is my co-host. I'm Scooter, and uh, there's, you know, right as we were talking about it in the other episode, some big news came out. Two episodes ago, we were chatting about the FGC and probably that, you know, people wanted to go to PC. And today it could be a big step forward potentially for that. Drew, you want to take it away? Oh, absolutely. The stream deck has been announced, baby, and it's looking pretty solid so far. Uh, I, like it's and the thing is the FGC wanted to move to PC, but you know, you PC obviously has a lot of variants, but with stream with the Steam Deck, uh sorry, it's gonna be a little more easier to have, you know, the same consistent hardware across the board for pc games now mind you there's other factors that need to make it easy to use for a tournament for example like will all the controllers work for it will the controller dock uh be handy will that be portable as well uh is the is the monitor like does it have low input delay but so far everything else it's it's looking solid it's like an answer the pc's answer to the switch yeah and i'm mean, quite excited about that yeah and for those of you that haven't maybe haven't seen it because this kind of it was weird it was a big announcement but like i saw it only through some like news twitters so it, it's getting it's slowly getting shared as more people wake up but uh for those of you who don't know valve announced this it looks like a switch um but it's a pc and it's all in one so you don't need like uh, internet to play games there is internal storage you but on top of that you can steam link so you can stream your games to this console and my only nitpick so far has been i looked at all the specs i looked at all the pricing it's a good entry price now the yeah, max one has- yeah the max one is like 900 so that's pricey but entry is 499 and which can easily compete with consoles the only weird part is it comes with a deck right so it can you're sorry a dock um, and mm-hmm. you can dock it like a switch. The only problem is the joy cons, we'll call them that don't come off. So it's a weird one because people are going to either have to buy a wireless keyboard and mouse or buy the steam controller or, or keep it docked forever. And that's not fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Or get a really long, like USB extender and play it like play it like that. But, uh, I don't yeah. know. That's my only real big problem with it so far. I just also hope we see Steam Big Picture get a huge rehaul because it's pretty ugly at the minute. Like it's quite well, a few years behind. It's also counterintuitive, like as a UI interface system. It's like super counterintuitive. I don't yeah. like it just doesn't like everything you need to do is not as simple as it needs to be. Like, for example, changing your controller, good luck. Like you have to press like you have to basically do the contra code to get to that menu, you know? So it's like, that's terrible. Like, <laughs> Yeah. And I, I think like that is going to be the downfall of any, like that's the only way I can see. And it, it is going to be software. Cause if you've ever used the steam link before, for example, um, I have, when I stream games, I have audio problems, but when it works, it's amazing. Like I played star Wars, um, the, what's the newest one, the force awake or no, not force awakens. Whatever the new Star Wars game is, I, it's slipping my mind right now. Right. But, but uh, it was awesome. I played it on Steam Link. I used a PS4 controller wirelessly the whole way through, streamed it from my PC to my bedroom, and and then Bluetooth the controller to the box. Awesome experience. Like, no delay or anything. But it's that question, like you said, like, what is the... Are they going to do, like, an even bigger edition where they get, like, a 120 hertz screen? Yeah, like, is are the monitors going to be low input delay, right? Or is the hardware going to be sufficient enough at the entry level that tournament organizers can use it as a as a main platform? And on top of that, like, are you sure we can connect all our controllers and they'll have com- compatibility? Yeah. Those are the those are like as an organizer, those are my issues, right? And then on top of that, like, will this thing overheat and burn? <laughs> like, because the yeah. PS4 did do that. Like, PS4 does do that in tournament. We had to actually cycle out for Electric Clash. We cycled out consoles every four hours so the other ones can uh, cool off. That's how, like, and no one talks about that, but, like, that's what you have to do. And I don't know. It, it's, like, 
it's bas- it's a PC. It it is a PC, and a thousand dollars for hopefully the specs are actually even worth a thousand dollars. But like for four ninety nine, I hope it's it's good enough to run like a lot of high end games. Yeah, but yeah, it's gonna be. I don't know. What do you think about it? Uh, I think I think big part for me is like I said, gonna come down to the software. But I also it's like speaking of software, the the other big part is gonna be are they gonna lock it? And what I mean by that is like, can I browse the web, or can oh, I just dude. do Steam shit? Like, oh dude. Yo, I think a nightmare as an organizer is if like someone goes on Google Chrome and then looks up like Pornhub shit. Yeah. Like across all the consoles or all the Steam decks. But, That's going to be a nightmare for me. Like I'm going to be yeah. there going, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't know. I, like, I just hope Valve doesn't lock it too hard because it, it would be really neat to see things like, oh, I can install Discord on this so I can still chat to my friends while I'm sitting in my room playing games like that would be sick but if it's software locked to the point where i can only go in steam like steam is the only like it's steam os and if it's locked to that extent then i think people are going to be a little pissed because essentially you are paying for a computer and why would i pay for a computer when i can just go buy a computer if i can't do other things like but i don't know We'll have to see what they decide to do because Valve, you know, their hardware has been really good so far. The Steam Link has its problems at overheating. Like you said, that is a big worry of mine for the handheld device too. Um, now it looks clunkier than a Switch but just because of the extra buttons and stuff. So it might have better ventilation. Uh, but the Steam Link got really hot. Like my one, my one sits and I don't even have my computer in my bedroom or anything. So... My room isn't hot, but this Steam Link, like if you if you're gaming on it for like four hours, it gets fucking hot. And really it's I don't know, it's it's very minimal things that could go wrong with the their handheld thing, but I don't know. It's it's like all those small things could turn into really big things if Valve doesn't do it correctly. But I think the yeah. price is a good start. Yeah, the price is a good start. You're basically and hopefully you you're paying like for a new switch almost. And hopefully the hardware is a lot better. Now the only like bright side so far is that you can you can install like third party software, which is gonna be great, you know? Like for people who love like retro arc or like emulation or even like PC games that you can't play on Steam. That that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah no. That, um I don't know. I, I got it's a wait and see situation for me if it's even worth uh investing into into it because like at the end of the day, I won't know if it's gonna be useful for tournaments if, or events until it comes out, until like the compatibility with the controllers are good and all these other external factors. But hey, it's it's exciting. It's exciting for sure. Well and actually funny you say compatibility with controllers, because actually one thing I was just thinking about was if this becomes a like one of the main devices games are going to really have to up their, you know, button mapping and controller mapping and like keyboard shortcuts and shit. Because if like, for example, if if you can play Dota on this thing, which is a valve game, they are going to have to do some serious overhaul to allow controller support. Yeah. Oh dude. Like (laughs) you you can't play Dota on a fucking pad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> like, There's but no if way. they, if they, if they're going to have to do it for a lot of those games. And I don't know. I guess it's just a wait. Like you said, it is, it is a wait and see. But uh, besides tournaments, do you think you're going to pick one up? Honestly, no, I have a PC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same pretty <laughs> like, much. I don't really need it, but now I mean, it'll be, it'll be great for like, people who travel. We'll... Yeah. It's, it's probably I amazing. Mean, yeah. I just like here's the thing when I travel, I don't really want to play real games either. I just want to like see Fair. the slates, but, but like, I mean, it'd be cool, like, it'd be cool. Like, for people who do love, do love it, you know, having a pocket PC playing like the full PC experience on, on your handheld that's like that's amazing. And they're they're really ambitious when they're chasing something like that, so yeah. You know. I mean, and speaking of companies, big companies doing unexpected things, uh, Netflix. They're getting into gaming. 
Oh, I, yo, that's a, for me, I think that's a really natural pivot because right now, uh, the streaming ecosystem, it's drastically changed in the last 10 years. It's really competitive now. And on top of that, Netflix doesn't, Netflix is trying to compete with original content, but like as Disney, HBO, they're starting to like, uh, have more control over their IPs. Yeah. They, they have to pivot to some, another type of content and video, making video games playing video games is a is content yeah. so that, that's really exciting i think it's super natural smart smart on them yeah and i think uh a big part of that is so they've already said in you know article i was reading that they want to do more like netflix originals so they're not going to be hiring um they're not going to outsource like publishers they are going to get their own teams make original content and it's being led by the guy who uh used to run the ea part of things so yeah, well, and Oculus. Yeah, yeah and Facebook VR. Yeah. Um but I think a really good hole they could fill because they have because they're Netflix, if they filled the hole that TikTok, uh, TikTok uh, Telltale left, they you know they got that good storytelling, they've got those original writers, they could write some really good stories. Now it doesn't have right. to be like choice based, but Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be really cool. Like uh, more point and click adventure games. Uh, but I mean, another thing they can do too is like release a free to play game, but have like that you know cosmetic e- ecosystem. Hey man, that should, we we know that drives so many free to play games, and it it makes billions for other companies. So they could go that way too. And I think this is a little more sustainable as a business model than uh, creating original like content and trying and hoping hoping that like your analytics team uh has done their marketing research well to like make this hit because like a a lot of netflix movies they're really hit or miss right like some netflix movies are like fucking incredible right like black dolomite that shit was amazing like uh what else like the black mario scorsese movie yeah the irishman that was sick but like bright bright fucking sucked like, like yeah you know, that's i mean the rest of development season like seven or whatever that sucked too like yeah was, and netflix yeah. do make a lot of those like hit or miss but it's like it's so nice what it, it's such a good point that you bring up because when netflix does make something good it's really good and it's usually perceived like worldwide yeah it's like super critical acclaim like, yeah all the accolades, Rotten Tomatoes up the ass. <laughs> like, it, ain't, it ain't rotting. It's always fresh when it's good. Yeah. And I don't know. I just like, I, I really hope they at least do a little bit of the Telltale style game just because they do have that story based. And I know they've, I don't know if you've seen it on Netflix, but I know they do like the, the Minecraft Telltale game already. And they have Telltale games on Netflix already that you can point and click through on Netflix. So, I'd love to see them do more of that, um, but with original stories. And they could even expand like a, like a Black Mirror video game, where oh yeah, like, that's the thing, right? Like when they make when they make original content and it hits, it's like fantastic. It's like some of the best things in the industry. So it's like, uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm thinking of like stories they could do with video games, and I'm 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 excited at the prospect of it. So, yeah, just like you are. So yeah, I can't wait for that. But yeah, I think, uh, you know, we're in that weird phase of video games at the minute where there isn't a whole lot coming out. I think towards the end of the year, we have some some cool titles to look forward to. I mean, I mean I'm just excited to play the remake of Pokemon Diamond. That's that's going to be a blast regardless. All stuff like that. And I hope we hear more about games like the new Star Wars game. Uh, what else is coming out? Anything you lurk- you're looking forward to? Mm. I was looking forward to the Pokemon remake, really. Uh, Pokemon Unite, the mobile Pokemon. That's yeah, I'm like, looking forward gonna be, to that. That's going to be really fun, I think. Um, yeah. yeah, no, uh, there's not really a lot of new games. Like, oh, Elden Ring. Yeah, Elden Ring excites, excites me. But, like, see, I had to think about it. There's not really that a game that's, like, stuck in my mind making me go, let's play it. No. Yeah. Like, just maybe Pokemon Diamond remake, which is great, because, like, I just finished playing pa- Platinum. <laughs> fantastic experience so yeah but yeah i think i think uh 
funny you touched on unite i saw a trailer for unite that they just posted they're doing like a promo right now where if you play it you get zorora um up until like august and uh that looks good and that's one of the, this is one of those circumstances that i really really hope nintendo comes to pc because they're coming on mobile and switch Mm-hmm. But God, if they bring that to PC, it will do so well. But they won't. Mm, no. But, hey, that's a can of worms they don't want to open. No, especially if they have purchases. Like they don't want it to go through anybody else, bar that eShop or iTunes, because they're already on there. But I mean, I don't know. There's a it's a short list of games, but the other thing that's short. Is this episode? Oh, not, absolutely. Yeah, not not a whole lot to talk about, but uh, it's it's just gonna be a, a quick chat this week, and we'll be back Wednesday. Hopefully, we've got some more stuff to talk about. It's been a pretty dry week, and uh, you know, if we get anything we really want to share, you can follow us at the Refrag TV on Twitter. And uh, yeah, you know, if you're if you're coming to Waves this Saturday, I'll be there. Drew's busy, but I'll be there. We can chat. If you want us to talk about anything specifically, leave it down below in the comments. And yeah, we'll catch you on Wednesday.